Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Find Cards on this, uh, what is it? It's Tuesday today. No, it's Wednesday. I'm a fucking liar. But, um, yeah, I figured I'd make a video today. Usually, Wednesdays are kind of, uh, slow. Um, slow, uh, you know, usually midweek is a little slow, and then it picks up towards the weekend. But this Wednesday, 21 orders. $150 worth of cards, uh, multi-card orders, a big card sold again, which I'll talk about in a second. And, uh, yeah, uh, so far, I probably got maybe a fourth, a fifth-ish away through that four row I got at the show this weekend. And uh, making some sales off of it already, so a lot of decent, good stuff in there. So I'm, pr I'm pretty uh, happy with uh, that purchase definitely uh gonna be a good turnaround on that and uh without further ado let's get into the sales now first off albert pujols rookie sold for 70 and you might be thinking didn't you already sell this i did um and we will talk about that so you know pack the card ship it no big deal everything's you know fine and dandy then the guy sends me a message and says there's a little surface scratch on the card. Uh, you can't really tell. I'm assuming he probably bought it for grading. And um, I didn't notice it. It's it's hard to really tell in a top loader. You really got to shine it in a certain light. I, I, there's no way I pick it up on camera. And he uh, wanted a return. I accepted the return. And... Uh, um, Came back yesterday in the mail, immediately uh, listed it, um, put it back up for 75 like I did the first time because most of them are going for around like 90, 100. So I figured with the ding, I could probably still get 75 out of it. Uh, took an offer for 70, which is five more dollars than I accepted the first time around. So I made more money and I put in the listing description. Uh, in the, I think I put it in the title too. I took a picture that uh, of the surface scratch this time, um, because the first time I sent it to the scanner, not realizing it was the rookie until afterwards. Um, so you couldn't really tell in the scan. So this time I took a picture with my phone, took more detailed pictures. So uh, should not get any complaints this time. I laid it all out there. Uh, I missed it the first time. Uh, cause I, uh, like I said, I put it through the scanner, didn't even look at it twice. So my bad. Also, if you remember that we pulled out of the consignment boxes like two months ago, uh, the KD, uh, domination nation, I think it was insert, uh, that I sold for 150. The guy also sent me a request for return saying that there was some form of ding on it. Um, it didn't. Uh, didn't see it. He took pictures, didn't see a damn thing. It looked the same way it looked when it, it got sent out. It looked fine. And, uh, it was, again, the eBay return window is 30 days. And, um, I think it sold on, like, March, first week of March. By the time it got there, it was, like, March 14th or something like that. And he requested a return almost two months from the sale, so I decline that. Sucks. I'm sorry, but that mark, I think he fucked with it because because Annie had it in a fucking one-touch, which I did not ship it in a one-touch, so this guy, um, I think he was trying some shady shit and not flying with me, insta-decline. So, 70 bucks on the Albert Pujols, 15 card lot, all Knicks cards. Uh, they choked the game to Philly yesterday, but I think they're going to win that series. Could make it to the uh, Eastern Conference Finals. I would love to see that. But um, so yeah, 15 cards for 24.35 after the label. Um, I'll be making around 20, I think. Uh, so I'm just going to go through them um, quick. Uh, quick uh, contenders: Julius Randle, 95 Skybox Ewing. 93 Upper Deck Ewing, 94 Ultra Ewing, 92 Ultra Starks, 93 Skybox Ewing, 97 Collector's Choice, Allen Houston, uh, 99 Fear Tradition, Marcus Camby, All-Star Card, 94 Ultra John Starks, um, 92 Ultra Anthony Mason, 93 Ultra John Starks, 99 Ultra Larry Johnson, 
93 Skybox John Starks, 2005 Tops Tim Thomas, and 94 Sky Pilots Charlie Ward. 15 cards, 25 bucks. Finally, a decent bulk sale. Very happy. Uh, Pride of the Pinstripes, Lou Gehrig, buck 85. Probably could have got more out of it, but there wasn't really comps. So, uh, Fred McGriff, buck 75. This next stop stardom, Upton Otani Trout. Poor Mike Trout, man. Stuck in L.A. Hurt again, just blew out his knee. This is an Otani rookie. Pulled out of the quarter box that I bought. Uh, so five bucks on that, as well as this card draft pick Jonathan India two dollars, uh, buck seventy five on this Steve Kerr skybox, uh, vintage John Odom buck fifty uh, older listing, Terminator Thurman Thomas sick card buck eighty five on an offer, archives uh, reprint Unitas two dollars, uh, Detroit Pistons eighty nine. Uh, World Champions little hoops card, buck seventy five for that. This was a good sale. Uh, that was out of the last bulk buy from Facebook. So was this. Dan Campbell, Joe Montgomery, New York Giants rookies, ten dollars for that. So thank you, Dan Campbell, tight end university. Um, out of the quarter box, Spencer Strider rookie, two dollars. So is this a uh, fiftieth anniversary tops buyback, Dave Goltz? Three dollars. Uh, Tops American Pie, Walmart debuted. Uh, Two dollars for that, I believe. Uh, yep. Uh, Ken Griffey season highlights, five hundredth home run on Father's Day. I believe that was buck eighty five on an offer as well. I was doing so good off memory, and now I forget. I'm falling apart. Yes. Bobby Crosby, rookie of the year, buck seventy-five. And then a couple more two card orders. So two Montanas. Uh 94 classic and 93 Skybox Impact. 250 for both of those. Uh these two 60th anniversary. Uh Monty Irvin, Goose Gossage, 350 for the two of those. And then finally, again, out of that uh quarter box. Um, two Jackson Holiday pro debuts for five dollars. Uh, they I listed them at three a piece. Took two fifty a piece for both of them. Five dollars, fantastic sale. So overall, very happy with the sales. Um, as you see, there was a bunch of cards today from that quarter box I bought over the weekend. Had a couple uh sales from the last few days. Um, that I didn't make a video on. So we're probably already like 25 bucks into that quarter box. So great buy. Again, I'm surprised I got it for 100 I was thinking like 150 200 But uh, I asked him how much you take for the whole thing. He said 100 Deal. Here's the money. No complaints. So uh, overall, yeah, great, great sales today. Now I got to get these packed, and it's 930. <sighs> oh, okay, so. Thank you all for joining me on another edition. If you want to check out the store, we'll be listed below. A lot of good stuff uh, will be listed coming up. Again, I still have like four-fifths of that quarter box to go and then still a bunch from Facebook buys that I have lying around. So we're going to have a lot of cool stuff uh, being listed soon. So if you want to check that out, link is down below as well as links to my socials and my music. Hope you all have a fantastic week. Continue of the week. And uh, when uh, I have another good sales day, uh, I'll let you know. Sales are great right now. We just crossed 20,000 listings. Very happy. Just got to keep it rolling. And it's as the more I keep it rolling, it's going to be harder to manage. So, but yeah, thank you all for joining me. Have a good one.